Good evening and welcome to another edition of Bill Johnson Serial Reviews. I'm your host, Bill Johnson, as always, and special guest, back by popular demand, Professor X. Say hello. Hello. And today we have Kellogg's Frosted Flakes Breakfast Essentials Beverage. These were really scarce during the pandemic. Oh, you're going to push the screen, bud. These were really scarce during the pandemic. Um, they were really hard to find. And in fact, when people would do reviews of these, there were some really interesting comments. Like, oh, Yo, you don't deserve these. There are people that really like need these for medical reasons. It was, a, it was wild, but it happened. And I, I found it amusing, but maybe I'm just ignorant. I have no idea. But I found that there were many of these in New Jersey at Walmart. And um, I finally purchased it. These are ice cold. We just took these out of the ice box, right? Yep. What's up, Cereal Queen? Hey, Maury. So we're going to try this out. I mean, it's 240 calories. You're looking at 15 grams of sugar, including 15 added sugar, 30%. So I'm only going to drink a little bit of this because I do not want to get too fat before my wedding. So let's just check this out. The packaging is brilliant, you know, it just looks like a box of Frosted Flakes. Yeah. As does the bottle. It's Frosted Flakes in a bottle. I anticipate it's just going to taste like Frosted Flakes milk after you eat the cereal, but let's find out. Made by Nestle. Nestle famous for hoarding all of America's water. Uh, check it out. All right, Carnation Breakfast Essentials. Hello, cereal queen. Smells like frosted flakes. Smells like frosted. I guess we're gonna shake it, right? Yeah. Just in case. No artificial flavors, colors, or sweeteners. Chris, cereal crusader, and cereal queen are here. The two famous young guns of the cereal world now, getting free cereal. Look, you made it. So check it out. It smells like frosted flakes, but it also has that weird breakfast. Essentials carnation smell. I don't know. Let's check that it out. It smells like just the flakes without the, you know, the sugar. Maybe. Bottoms up. Sticks. There's a plenty of sugar in here. It doesn't taste like frosted flakes. Really? Give, give it one more swig before you make that determination. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's close, but the aftertaste is really more vanilla than Frosted Flakes, I would say. Is that what you're tasting? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty good, though, right? It's like sweet milk, basically. But yeah, this is like sweet milk with a very tiny hint of Frosted Flake uh, sugar. Does it bring out the tiger in me? Not really. I'll leave that for my wife. So, um, let's give it a rating. What do you think? What's your, um, what's your number on this? Well, it doesn't taste like it, which was what I was hoping for. Yeah. I give it a six and a half. I think that's pretty spot on. I'm going to give it a six. It's not something I would want to drink again. I mean, the Fruit Loops one I didn't really like um, as much. But at least the the Fruit Loops one was like dead on. Yeah, uh, cereal queen. It does have like a hint of Frosted Flakes, but like I really wanted it to taste like exactly like the milk after you eat a bowl of Frosted Flakes, and I don't think that's happening here. No. No, not at all. And this is a Frosted Flakes house. We eat a lot of Frosted Flakes here. That's it's a ten cereal. It's a rock solid cereal. It's definitely in my top five. And I think I would be, I'm going to be a very good judge of this. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say a six and a, and a six five is accurate here. Just eat a nice ice cold bowl of Frosted Flakes. Yeah. Now, having said that, what if you poured this into a bowl of Frosted Flakes, which I'll let other people go ahead and do. What did somebody say here? 